Welcome to the next unit in transitions and this time we're going to be having a look at mashups where we put two tunes over the top of each other and create something that's a bit new and exciting to include into your DJ tape. So for this one we need an instrumental track uh, and we need an a cappella, which is obviously a, a track with just vocals on it. Um, if you don't have any a cappellas, try and see if you can get one um, at Beatport or somewhere online uh, and also an instrumental track that's in the same key. We're going to be working in 5A for this one. So I've imported my first tune, which is the instrumental. I've warped it uh, and I've um, made sure all my presets, warp, high Q and complex are all arranged here. Uh, and let's just give it a quick play. There we go, it's a fairly standard kind of new disco uh, instrumental record. So find a tune, I recommend something that's in exactly the same key this time. Then we know that all the notes are going to be exactly the same. And obviously something that's in a similar kind of tempo. Uh, I've chosen this track. Leave yourself a gap in the middle. I've got a, an a cappella by Todd Terry. Um, and let's just have a look. Let's open it up. Now, we haven't really focused on warping a track that doesn't have any beats. So we're going to have a look at that. First of all, make sure your settings are correct. We're going to get rid of the markers, which Ableton has given to us. Um, and we're going to listen to our track and see if we can understand it a bit better before we start to warp it. Oops, sorry. Lately I'm skipping along the street And I ask myself why I'm walking in rhythm Okay, first of all, it sounds pretty slow, doesn't it? So let's see if we can get the first beat Or if there was a beat, where would that first beat go? Let's have another listen Lately, lately Okay, so it's the L of the lately, isn't it? Somewhere. Lately, late. Maybe. Lately, I'm scared. Lately, I'm scared. Lately. That sounds quite nice. So let's warp marker, control, left click, set here. Let's remove these others. And let's give it a play. Remember, before that, warp from here. Oh, it's been some transients. Let's see how accurate they are. Lately, I'm skipping along the street. And I ask myself why I walk in and rip. Okay, we can see the walking here, the walking word, the walking vocal is similar phrasing as our initial vocal here. So this is probably going to be coming at the beginning of bar five. Let's have a closer look. I, I, in. Okay, let's put that, the W of walking, let's put that on bar five. Walking in rhythm to a new beat, must be that look in your eyes. Get down. Okay. This is one of the warps that Ableton put in. We're going to get rid of that. Let's get rid of all of those because we know Ableton doesn't always do a great job. Let's get rid of those. Um, let's just do it manually. Okay, so let's play our a cappella over the beat and let's just check for timing and then we can start playing around with it after that. It's both tunes on. Lately I'm skipping along the street And I ask myself why I'm walking in rhythm to a new beat Must be that look in your eyes Get down We can see it's just fallen a bit out of time There's a D here on the word down Which sounds like it should come at the beginning of the bar 
warp marker. Let's see. Okay, not too bad. The T on this obviously comes at the beginning of the 17th bar. And let's go through again. Let's go to bar 41. And I think we can tell that that's going to go there. Okay, timing wise, that's fine. So let's leave it there for the moment. And Let's play through and see how it's getting on. Lately, I'm skipping along the street. And I ask myself why I walk in in rhythm to a new beat. Must be that look in your eyes. Get down. You want my music? Fill me up. Here I Okay, timing wise, that's pretty good. So let's start to arrange our a cappella so it fits over the arrangement of our instrumental. Let's give it a breather um, and start our a cappella around bar 17 here. Most things sort of happen in 16s and 32s. So let's give it a play. <laughs> Okay, up until here, sounded okay. Now, the uh, instrumental tune has been a bit sneaky and it's thrown in an extra bar. So let's see if we can... Yeah, there's an extra bar here between 25 and 26. Um, it's just an arrangement feature. Um, it's not meant to uh, mess up our lives, but it's there. So I think let's account for that and let's move this on an extra bar there. Uh, where does that go? Yeah, okay. And you'll notice now that our new uh, vocal phrase here will come back in line with the original tune. Yep, the timing's fine. Obviously, the vocal phrasing here wasn't quite right, so let's get rid of that, and then we drag this on, so we get the get of the get down, and let's have a listen. Yep, and we've got another uh, arrangement 
issue there. Maybe um, we could move the whole chorus part of our a cappella up um, just so it gives it a, a breather and a break. So we're just going to move this section up and make sure we take out the lead in vocal. Okay, um, so we've got a, a percussion breakdown here. So let's try our chorus on the percussion breakdown. Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, this area may be a bit sparse, and I've noticed we've got another kind of vocal uh, alteration here. So let's try that uh, back here. Hey. And there we go, um, we could keep going and, and arrange the rest of our tune, um, but you get the idea, you know, keep playing around with, with the arrangement of your a cappella, layering it over different sections. Be aware that the arrangement of the two tracks probably will be different, so you have to compensate for that. Make sure you've got both of your tracks in time as much as possible before you start playing around and it will make it much easier for you.